coordinate or get with you and let you know what the issue is. So if it's already documented, you can tell them, yes, it's documented. We're, they're going to get to it. But mm -hmm. it, the, the, the central point of contact is very, very helpful. Day-to-day, -day, especially in a, in a big project, because um, it, in details, I, I saw when I was checking people's mail, um, a lot of emails sent from this one person, the point of contact to the whole company. Let me know if you're having problems. Okay. Well, good. Now that can flood her. <laughs> uh, I would have rather almost her say, "Look, just let them know once that we're in migration." Right. Um, and when I when I, I I'll correct things that I see while I'm doing because I test everything. I, I I test the remote access. I test the email. I test Active Sync. I test I test everything. So once I tell you that I'm done, let's then let people know. Okay, now. As far as we know, everything's working. Let us know what's not working. But she would, she was emailing us, con emailing constantly while the migration is going on, and she's getting back a lot of responses saying this is not working. Well, I know because I'm moving that today. So, yeah. I, I said, look, I, I'll let you know when to send the email out. <laughs> so right, because you and I, or we who are listening or watching, know that users, when something's broken, they'll let you know. I mean, there's no shrinking coin in it. There, there's no. I hope it's fixed. They'll call somebody. So. Yeah, and that's mostly true. But don't forget, I was doing this right before Christmas. People wanted to get out of there, so I, I suspect some people didn't care. You were like, "Great, just, it's done." Yeah, yep, I'm going shopping. So, <laughs> so. Um, but the server um, is not I plugged in. Hey, no one's calling. I'm good. So yeah, in this case, I told you know I said I'm aware I'm aware that you're having issues, but let me I'm working on them. Let me let me get back to you, and then we'll we'll do another poll and see what's not working. So poll. All right, man. Another show full of fun fact, packed, explosive information. Good job, man. Yeah, and I'll do another one like that starting this week, too. My second one. Same Sweet. exact thing. One server to three servers. SPS 03 to server 28, 2008 with Exchange 2010. So I, I, well, I'm looking forward to our next current station. I wonder if you run into the same issues or not. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. And then after that, I've got one lined up with actually just going to a new SBS server. So they're going from one to one, but they're getting the whole company is getting new computers, new servers at the same time. So mm -hmm. that one actually is easy. I like that one because we can set it all up at our office. Right. Drop it in and copy data over. No, I, I definitely agree. There is with migrations. There's just one key thing that sticks out like a sore thumb. There's, Stuff, it's stuff has to be migrated, data and, and unfortunately, and then, unfortunately, I hate migrations. So you know, I hate them. Uh, trust me, I know that as much as I know that you love a watch card. So. <laughs> but but here's the key: yeah. it's the SBS to SBS migrations that are tricky. Mm -hmm. So this was SBS to straight server, and it was better because the SBS servers have those strange things about you can't coexist, and if it messes up on the uh, initial part, you got to re redo everything from scratch. Both servers, not the new one. You got to restore the original server back to default because on an SPS to SPS migration, it makes changes on the source server that are irreversible. And if it messes up like it has a couple times for us, you got to restore the source server before you can try again. I don't, I don't like that. No, no, that sounds like a ball fun. Well, and it's because, yeah, at SBS, you have to install it in migration mode. Yeah. Which is an I, I wish they would change that. that. Yeah. I wish they would change that. They didn't as of the new SBS 2011. It's the same thing. But, oh. But these these kind of things are better. There was no, now this company actually has no more small business server. So for them, uh, there's really no migration to do ever. Because if, if they outgrow this server, we can just add a new domain controller. So it's much easier without SBS to add new servers or go to a different server. It's that SBS that, that while it's great product for small businesses, it's the transitioning to new ones, which is, um, which is tricky. Yeah. All righty. Well, uh, Matt, uh, where can people find you? You got anything to uh, share with the rest of the crowd? 
Yeah, well, I know I've gotten a few emails, and I'm sorry I haven't replied to those. I'm, I'm going to reply to those soon, and we'll put them on the show. It's just been very, very crazy. Um, so if you emailed me and you haven't heard back, I'm sorry. I'll get to it soon. Um, so, yeah, email uh, Matt, M-A-T-T, at podnuts.com. Awesome. And you can email me at Lalo at podnuts.com, L-A, L to the O. Um, if you have any comments or questions, if you've done migrations like yourself, have some tips, show your stories, go ahead and shoot us an email. Um, go to iTunes, give the show some good time, um, good comments. Thanks for participating in the chat room or watching live, or if you're just listening to this as you're cruising down the road. Thank you very much. Um, go to betterpctech.com. I got a couple more scripts that should be coming out soon. Uh, if you haven't bought the, uh, uh, the Better PC Tech series, the Google Apps is what it's all about. So other than that, uh, you have a good week, Matt, and we'll catch you in seven days. Yep, and Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Year, Matt. <laughs>